Hello, it's Jerry. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's great to have you back here tonight. And congratulations. Uh, <laughs> I finished the I, test. Right. I got the news from your dad that uh, you um, had uh, the, the biggest test ever uh, this w past weekend. And... And it was quite uh, successful for you, I heard from my dad, because you got some good scores in uh, some important uh, subjects like English and science, uh, but not Chinese. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I heard you uh, got a perfect score in English. Um, yes. Didn't you? Yeah, you got a perfect score in English. Great. That's really good. Um, yeah, congratulations. You did a great job, uh, Will. And of course, you've been preparing for this for quite some time, for about a year. Um, yeah. Right? Yeah, you've, you've been working so hard in preparation for this big test. And finally, it's done. And all your hard work uh, paid off because uh, you got really good scores a perfect score in english uh, what about what about in science um it is it last the uh, low score the uh, best score is mm -hmm. seven and i got six mm -hmm. mm, okay okay i see uh, seven and then you got six so not bad not bad um, great so it's still a um, very um, it, high score not a final, perfect one the mm -hmm. final score is not allowed it is just uh, it is just uh, like what, what the, 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 the scores per subject um, the, uh, the final score is not out. It is just a mm. guess of guess of the point. Mm, who guessed it? Um, uh, many, my teacher and mm -hmm. my teacher. Mm, and okay, then, so it's like the the un... only mm -hmm. the only score score I can I can know is English because I mm -hmm. I, I don't have any any mistake on English so it is mm. it is um it is seven mm -hmm. how did you know that you did not miss any any question or you did not get any incorrect score in English like um, uh, did you do the exam um via what like a a uh, a device where you just input uh, the answers and you will know right away if your answer is right uh, or no, wrong. It is. Mm -hmm. You know the answer after after mm -hmm. the quiz. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Well anyway, so the unofficial um, scores suggest that uh, you got high scores, uh, which is good. So you just need to wait for the official score and the, the overall grade or score that uh, you got uh, but I suppose it's not going to be different or maybe it's not going to be um, very far from the unofficial um, unofficial schools that uh, your teachers uh, told you yes, I think great I think. well yeah right as I have mentioned all your effort all your hard work paid off. I, I know you worked so hard, you went to your cram school uh, almost every day and for long hours and you got thinner as well. I mean, um, yeah, you look a lot uh, thinner now compared to like a year ago. So perhaps uh, you've been totally immersing yourself in your study so that you did not have any appetite uh, to eat well um i think <laughs> right okay or maybe it's just because you are getting taller um yes maybe so what did your parents 
um, tell you when you uh, told them these good news about your perfect score in, in English and uh, the other high scores you got uh, in this test? Uh, what, was, what was their reaction like? Um, they are, they didn't feel excited because this is not a final score and and mm -hmm. and and they didn't feel very very mm -hmm. excited and happy. <laughs> okay well m maybe you didn't see that they were very excited uh, but uh, yeah Jamie your dad uh, broke this news to me and uh, he seemed to be very happy when he was uh, telling me about this great news about you successful test so do you think you will be able to go to the school that you want to? Um, <coughs> I don't know. Maybe I mm -hmm. can. Have you already thought about the schools that you want to go to? Um, yes, I already. Mm -hmm. So which are the schools that... Uh, I mean, what schools are these? What schools did you consider uh, to go to in high school? Uh, I don't know the English. Um, are they very popular high schools there in Taiwan? Um, yes, but only one. Mm -hmm. Is it is it the uh, the top ranking high school? Yes, the top ranking one. Mm. Well, it must be very competitive to no. uh, get into this high school. But you you got pretty high scores in your high school admission test. So if that's going to be the basis, uh, then you have a good chance to no, get no. admitted to this school. I, I will. You don't think so? Because this school only only let the only the range only is you got four four mm -hmm. four score just. Uh -huh. Oh, and may, any project is seven out of seven. Mm -hmm. mm, you okay. need to do this to get in this school. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I say seven out of seven is like uh, perfect school. school. Mm -hmm. every, every in, 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 in every subject, you mean? In all of the subjects, yes. you need to get a perfect school. Really? Is that possible? Um, yes, because <laughs> mm -hmm. because the score is like a range. It is like you 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 could you cut the student the it is like the top ten like top five mm -hmm. percent. Mm -hmm. Top five five percent people is in seven out of seven. Mm, oh, you mean uh, for for instance, uh, let's say the number of questions was like one hundred, and if you get a score of like ninety five to one hundred, you will be in the uh, category of seven. Yes. Is that so? Uh, mm -hmm. no, so so seven is not exactly a perfect score. But it's the highest rank. Yes. Okay. It's, it's not exactly a perfect score. So maybe yes, you had one high. mistake or two mistakes yes. or let's say three. But that's still part of uh, rank number seven, which is the highest rank. Yes. Okay. I see. All right. Um, so, yeah. This school requires uh, students to be in the rank seven in all of the subjects uh, for them to enter the school hmm well let's let's, let's see if uh, you will get a chance no, uh, to... i won't get a chance because my mm. my chinese only got four four hmm it's quite low this is very very bad because mm -hmm. because i only can get good scores in in uh, uh, in chi in other su other mm. subject without Chinese. Mm -hmm. 
and I can't get a good score because my Chinese is too bad. And mm-hmm. it is very, very hard to to prepare Chinese and because China Chinese ability is from reading many many books and doing mm-hmm. things and read some old book like the book uh, and you and you need to read like very like a wide range of Chinese literature um, yes, and you need to mm-hmm. know Chinese culture, but I'm not into it, and I mm-hmm. don't care about Chinese culture. So, <laughs> so I'm not very mm-hmm. good at it. Mm-hmm, I say. I know it's not an interesting subject, especially for uh, young people, uh, and particularly for you, because you are more interested in technology and English and science. Yeah. I think this subject, I mean, this the, the Chinese subject is not, I would say, it's not very important. I mean, it is important, but it's not as useful as, let's say, the other subjects. Yes, yeah, because, mm-hmm. because the Chinese you use is, the mm-hmm. Chinese you test is not the Chinese you use after you go out to work. Mm-hmm. And and the Chinese you study is is not useful and it is it is not very good for you and mm-hmm. the Chinese you need to go out to work. Um how say you You mean uh, it's it's not the contemporary Chinese? Uh, um, yes, it is a uh, old um, Chinese. You learn the old right. and the Chinese you learn to go out to work, work mm-hmm. go out to outside, go out outside, mm-hmm. and you can, you can contract, um, you can talk to others. Mm-hmm. Is uh, you you're in, you're, you're in elementary school and you learn all mm-hmm. all of the Chinese mm-hmm. that you can, you can talk to others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you don't even don't need to need to know the. Mm-hmm. So is, is is that the reason you don't like this subject? Yeah. I mean, you think that this is nonsense, this is useless. Um, uh, no, I don't think it is totally useless. Because mm-hmm. you can learn history from the, Chi- from the old Chinese. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not totally useless, but you just think that it's not useful. It's, it's not really useful in our... Um, day-to-day life and particularly for your future is not you know not uh, particularly useful uh, for your future and so you you think that you don't have to give much attention to this I um, mean not as much attention as you give to like English and science and math yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well I, I agree with you right I think um, getting a perfect score in the Chinese subject uh, is is not really, let's say, some schools might um, require it, not for the sake of suggesting that the subject is useful, but maybe it's just a way for the schools to gauge the uh the the intelligence or let's say the uh mental capability of the students so like if students can learn chinese well that means that they can learn anything because you know chinese is not a very interesting subject but they still got a perfect score that means they yeah. studied well and they uh, learned uh, it so mm. the average of people the student Mm-hmm. The student in our age, the, if you are not into Chinese, and you will at least get five points. But I'm mm-hmm. very bad at Chinese, so, so I only get you got four. four. Yes. Four. Mm, so the average score in Chinese is five. Yeah. So you got uh, yeah four, and it's lower than the four average score. Th- the bad mm. situation is three. The like bad, the worst. The worst. worst. The worst. Mm, the worst uh, score. Yeah. Wow, okay. Well, whether you get into the top ranking high school or not, 
it's not going to determine your future. Um, I know of um, people who... I think who... it will, because the same range of students will get into a same high school. And if you mm. didn't quit well and you go to a very bad high school and the students inside are only playing and only you are studying <laughs> and you won't mm. want to study mm -hmm. and you will go to play and you will mm. be more not in unsuccessful. Yes, unsuccessful. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, yeah, that, that could be, let's say, a factor, but again, it's not going to absolutely determine your future. Mm. Uh, like, like myself, I would say, I did not go to um, um, a fancy and top-ranking high school. I went to the high school in my hometown, which is a small high school, a very uh, rural area. And uh, although I was in section, so in my hometown, we have uh, sections. So section A, section B, sometimes section, section C. And in my uh, high school years, uh, students were put into sections based on their uh, academic performance. So that means that section A is a group of students who do Back. quite well, like the top, you know, students. Um, so I was in section A, but I was just in section A, not because I was particularly, you know, uh, intelligent or... Oh, yes. uh, so in our section, when I was in high school, we had... So, of course, we had first year to fourth year. So the number of students per i mean every year was not always the same but but it was like about 20 to 25 20 to 25 uh in in our section um and i was well i did i did not really study hard when i was in high school but it, it, it's interesting because i was always part of like the top 10 students i was like top 10 top 9 sometimes top, top 8 um, uh, but still very far from like the top five uh, students like these are the best five students um, How many students are there in your class? About yeah 20 to 25 sometimes more than 25 but uh, that's in one section so that that's like section A section B has another 25 section oh. C has another so the whole let's say the whole year has about um, like 60 to 70 or 80 students. Yeah. Um, so it's a very small, uh, small high school. Only this. Um, yeah. uh, I, we have almost 400, 400. 400, wow. But we won't get into a section because that, because it is already cancelled because mm -hmm. the government think um, it's like students discriminating. In your <laughs> sections will hurt the students feel so mm -hmm, right it's like yeah 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 some people think that uh, it's uh, discriminatory you know it, it discriminates uh, people uh, so so I, I know that I think um, our edu education uh, system also uh, stopped doing that uh, mm. so we no longer have sections and we also no longer have the uh, the, the the ranking of students. So before, when I was in elementary, high school, and even in college, we used to have uh, first, second, third, you know, fourth, like the ranking of students. Um, but now, um, they only say students with high honors, and then students with honors, and then achievers, or students... So it's no longer ranking students like the first, the second, the third. Uh, it's more like um, it's more like uh, grouping the students. Like, but this only happens um, at the end of the school year. Uh, you know, to to recognize, uh, let's say, the well performing students. Uh, but it's not. Uh, so so yeah, it's it's just like 
a recognition. Yeah, just to recognize uh, those students who did very well or who studied very well. Um, but we still only elementary school won't. Mm -hmm. uh, elementary school won't let won't mm -hmm. make you into a first, second, and third. But mm -hmm. in junior high school and higher, even higher, higher, and we we have very we have a very um. In detail, in very mm -hmm. details, um, very details, um, and how was it? Um, very indeed. Could you send me the word? Um, in detail, we, um, I don't know how to say that. Um, okay, I say. Right, just send me the word. Uh, we'll get up. Um, um very in detail. Yeah. In detail. Mm. And you will send to send to our our parents to let us know. To let the family know what your what grade is yours, but I, mm. and I think it is very bad for us. Mm, mm. Well, we also have that. It's like a scoring system. For instance, you you had a homework, and then after handing it in, uh, the teacher would check it, would um, grade it. Like the the teacher would put a score. And then it's gonna be um, uh, given back to you or sent to your parents, and and your parents would know uh, what score you you got from that particular um, quiz or homework or schoolwork. Yeah. Anyway, um, so maybe you should um, you should uh, celebrate to congratulate yourself for successfully finishing uh, this very big test yeah and i i heard that uh, your dad already gave you back your computer yeah. <laughs> so what did you do uh, uh the moment right after um getting it back from your dad um i play uh, i always play games and and watch videos and mm -hmm. play with my play with my classmate um mm -hmm. during the class <laughs> play with my classmate mm -hmm. and we so you've, even you've been enjoying playing video games mm. and we even talk to each other from online online mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and we didn't didn't even um go into the class. Really? <laughs> Is that allowed? Uh, sometimes the teacher won't notice. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well, anyway, so it's great to catch up with you. And now we'll go to the lesson, uh, the news article that you've chosen. Uh, so we have um, video games may increase your child's IQ. That's uh, the title, right? Okay, so let's uh, get started now. All right, so let's begin from uh, vocabulary. And uh, as usual, I'm going to read first and uh, you repeat after me. Okay. All right, so the first one is suggest. Suggest. To cause one to think that something is the case. To cause one to think so that something is the case. New evidence suggests that there is water on the surface of Mars. New evidence suggests that 
there is water on the surface of Mars. Intelligence. Intelligence. The ability to think, learn, and understand. The ability to think, learn, and understand. Okay. To be a football captain, you need skills as well as intelligence. To be a foot football captain, you need skills as well as intelligence. Psychological. Psychological. Relating to the mind. Relating to the mind. The research looked into the psychological effects of heavy Instagram use. Among teenagers, the research looked into the specific effects, psychological, psychological, psychological effects of heavy Instagram use among teenagers. Factor, factor. One of the things that may cause, contribute to, influence something, etc. One of the things that may cause contri contribute, contribute, contribute to influence something, etc. Okay. Location was an important factor in my decision to accept this job. Location was an important factor in my decision to accept this job. Mental. Mental, relating to the brain or thinking. Relating to the brain or thinking. Stress can cause mental health problems like depression and anxiety. Stress can cause mental health problems like de depression and in and anxiety. Anxiety. All right. Great. So yeah, that's for the vocabulary part, and we'll go to the article. Let's start from the title. Video game, or I mean, video games may increase your child's IQ. Video games can may increase your child's IQ. A new study suggests that spending an above-average amount of time playing video games could actually increase children's IQs. A new study suggests that spending an above-average amount of time playing video games could actually increase children's IQs. The researchers studied more than 5,000 children in the U.S. over two years to see how different types of screen time affected intelligence. Researchers studied more than 5,000 children in the U.S. over two years to see how different types of screen time affect intelligence. At the beginning of the study, the children who were 9 and 10 were given IQ tests. They were also asked how much time they spent watching TV and videos, playing video games, and using social media. At the beginning of the study, the children who were 9 and 10 were given IQ tests. They were also asked how much time they spent watching TV and videos, playing video games and using social media. Then, after two years, the researchers repeated the intelligence tests. Then, after two years, the researchers repeated the intelligence tests. The children spent an average of two and a half hours watching TV, half an hour on social media, and one hour playing video games each day. The children spent an average of two and a half hours watching TV, half an hour on social media, and one hour playing video games each day. The study published in Scientific Reports found that 
time watching TV and videos had little to no positive effect on intelligence. Using social media also had no effect. The study published in um, sci scientific scientific reports from that time watching TV and videos had a little had little to no positive effect on intelligence. Using social media also had no effect. However, gaming had a positive effect on intelligence, with kids who spent more time than average playing games showing the biggest increase in intelligence after two years. However, gaming and had a positive effect on intelligence with kids who spent more than average playing games showing the biggest increase in intelligence after two years. For example, a child who was in the top 17% in terms of hours spent gaming increased their IQ by about 2.5 points more than the average child over two years, wrote researchers Torkel Klingberg and Bruno Soss for the conversation. For example, a child who was in the top of 17% in terms of hours play, spent gaming increased their IQ about 2.5 points, more than the average child over two years, wrote researchers um, Torkel, Rotio, Klingberg, and Bruno source for the conversation. The results don't mean parents should let their kids play video games as much as they want, though, the researchers said. The study didn't look at important psychological factors like sleep, mental health and exercise, they noted. The researchers don't mean parents should let their kids play video games as much as they want no. And researchers said the study didn't look at important specific um sub psychological psy uh psy psych psycho psychological psychological factors like sleep, mental health and exercise lay like mom. However, the researchers did say parents could worry less if their kid enjoys gaming because it could be making them a bit smarter. However, the researchers did say parents could worry less if their kid enjoys gaming because it could be making them a bit smarter. Alright, great. I suppose this is good news for you. Um, but <laughs> many times I'm watching mm. YouTube, so I mm. don't think it's okay. <laughs> oh, um. Watching YouTube videos about video games, but not exactly playing the game yourself. Um, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But okay. most of the time it's watching news and. Ah, uh, okay. So you watch news on YouTube. Yeah. Hmm. I say. Then maybe you should play video games more. Um, yes, but, <laughs> but sometimes mm. if you don't know what's going on and you will go to watch YouTube mm. to know what will happen next. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you and that you will you don't need to think about what will go on and mm -hmm. I think it, the IQ will increase be it's because of thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you, but if you do something, something like, uh, like me, and I think it won't mm -hmm. much. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, anyway, that's for the article. So we'll go to the questions part. And the first question is: How old were the children at the beginning of the study? Um, nine and ten. Alright, so they were 9 and 10 uh, year olds. 
And number two, uh, how much time did the children spend uh, watching TV on average? Um. Um, two and a half hours watching. All right, that's right, two and a half hours. And lastly, uh, by how much did the children who spent most time gaming increase their IQ? Um, about 2.5 points. More mm -hmm. than the average kid child. Uh, right, so uh, their IQs increased. Uh, by about 2.5 points right okay see so, right that's for the questions part so let's go to discussion and uh, the first one is uh, what are your thoughts on the study's findings what do you um, think about it I I agree with it because if you watch you, if you're playing video games and you are thinking and if you are thinking, um, you will increase. If you th mm -hmm. think more often, you will increase your IQ. But mm -hmm. the, but TV. But I don't think that watch TV won't increase because mm -hmm. it is affected by what kind of t what kind of t TV show you are watching. If you mm -hmm. only watch like like cartoon or or movies and mm -hmm. I don't think it will be able to increase your IQ and if you if you always watch something that is useful for you and like it is it is knowledge something knowledge and mm -hmm. like some um, Something that would increase your knowledge about yeah. certain things. Mm -hmm. um, like, mm -hmm. um, I have seen a channel that is that are doing some asking. Mm -hmm. And asking? Do, yes, like asking the children what what will mm -hmm. happen next. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's like an interview. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes okay. And it have a. It have a small second, like ten seconds to twenty seconds, to let the child, child, children, in front of the television and think, think mm -hmm. about the question. Mm -hmm. So, so I think this will also increase. But most of the kids don't like to watch that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And what about the IQ increase from playing video games? Uh. Do, do, do you think that is um, um, do you think well it's, it's, it's a study so let's say they have their own evidence but in your opinion do you think it's true do you think it's accurate yeah I think it is very true mm -hmm. um, because the, the student in our class the, the highest score in our class also like to play video game, mm. that is very. And that is you need to think. You need to mm -hmm. think about what, what will happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like oh. um, you, you need to strategize. Uh, you need to to have a strategy on how to win the game. Yes. How to uh, defeat the opponent in the game. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, right. Um, I suppose that uh, there are some, um skills that kids could get from playing video games so I would also agree with that and uh, I suppose um, that could be backed up by uh, not just evidences but also by the testimonies of uh, people who have experienced you know playing video games all right so the second one is, do you find it surprising that video games may increase children's IQ? Before reading this article, uh, did you already have um, the belief that video games could increase people's IQ, particularly children's IQ? Um, 
I I think it was I I didn't think about the question before. Mm-hmm. That this mm-hmm. I didn't think about this before, but until mm-hmm. I watched this mm-hmm. article mm-hmm. and I and I think about it is true. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. Um, I think the common notion is that video games. Um, affect the children's IQ in a negative way. So uh, instead of increasing the children's IQ, it would or it it should decrease it. But that is a common notion. That's usually what people think, um, at least here in the Philippines. Because I know a lot of parents would um, they would uh, tell off or they would scold their children if they play video games and they want them to like read their school books or do their homework or just study and not play video games because they think that playing video games is going to affect them badly i agree with this because because they because many people say the IQ didn't mean uh, your IQ is very high didn't mean you are very smart because you are mm. not the IQ didn't uh, equal equals to no because mm-hmm. but if you have higher IQ and you will be knowing that mm-hmm. the knowledge is well, more mm. easier than other students okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard about that too. So the IQ is not really, uh, let's say, it's not equivalent to how smart you are or how how r- intelligent and knowledgeable you are. It only refers to the ability of your mind to to absorb information, or to absorb uh, knowledge. Uh, there are people with high IQs, but apparently they don't seem to be very successful, or they don't seem to be uh, very knowledgeable. Uh, so perhaps they did not, um, they did not take advantage, let's say, of uh, their IQ. All right, number three. Uh, did you spend much time gaming growing up? And uh, what were your favorite games? Um, yes, I mm. spend much time gaming, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. but um, most of time is will be stopped by my parents. <laughs> they don't want me mm. to die. So, how old were you when you first uh, got exposed to the world of video games? Um, like in nine or ten. Mm-hmm. Um, mm, okay, around is nine, nine years old. Yeah, between nine and ten. Okay. Um, do you think it has increased your IQ? I didn't. I I didn't know if my if my <laughs> IQ increased or not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but what do you what do you believe? Do you believe it increased your IQ or not? Um, I I believe it will affect my affect my my thinking. It will be mm-hmm. let me think more. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I don't know if I my IQ increased or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe it increased a little, just mm-hmm. just very little. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I suppose the problem-solving skills um, um, improves when. I mean, the problem-solving skills improve when children play video games, particularly games that require um, strategy planning, like. For instance, when you are, let's say, attacking uh, an enemy's camp, you need to have a plan, a strategy on how to 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 carry out that plan. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the problem-solving skills of 
of children who play video games uh, I suppose would would improve would get better as they are exposed to uh, video games that require them to you know to to use those skills as often as uh, possible every time they play video games I'm not so good at playing video games to be honest so maybe my IQ is not that high maybe it's below average um, I don't think <laughs> I've I've tried I've tried playing video games. Uh, some of my friends even tried teaching me uh, how to play. For instance, one of my friends um, tried to teach me how to play uh, Mobile Legend. Have you heard of that game, yes, Mobile I, Legend? It will increase IQ because you need mm. to think about where the enemy is and why, where mm. the enemy will. Uh, mm -hmm. The enemy will go. Right, so like you have to read the mind of the opponent or the enemy. Uh, so so yeah, my my friend tried to teach me that game, but um, I did not really learn it. Uh, my friend gave up on me, and then I gave up on myself. <laughs> uh, so I did not really learn it. I I find it, I don't know why, but I find it confusing uh, to play video games, especially that kind of video game like the mobile legend or yes, Dota or uh, even the um, the Minecraft every time I see my nephews play Minecraft I always wonder what is the goal of the game or what are they um, doing or you know uh, what are they trying to achieve in the game I, I don't quite understand um, uh, how they work that game don't have a goal. It has mm -hmm. a small goal, but it don't have a real goal. The goal mm -hmm. is to build, build as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. build. Um, so yeah, so yeah, yeah. They they build something. They smash something, and they pick up some I don't know like tools or some treasure. I'm not sure uh, what those things are, uh, but I I don't find them. I don't know why uh, a lot of people find them interesting. I, I don't really find it interesting. Maybe it's not just my taste. Um, yes. Mm. Or maybe I just have very low IQ, so I cannot... Oh, no. <laughs> I can't understand uh, these video games. Right, so the next one here. If you had kids, how many hours per day would you let them play video games? So, in other words, what do you think is the right amount of time that kids should play video games um in the in the work days i think only one to two but mm -hmm. at the weekend i think i can let them play as much as they want but it it have a limit by eight hours mm -hmm. to ten mm -hmm. hours mm -hmm. Okay, so you will just give them a limit, but you would let, let them play as much as they would like um, on the weekend, but not on weekdays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or particularly on school dates. Maybe uh, when they have yeah. their summer vacation, uh, then right, uh, you could uh, also let them play as much as they would like, even on weekdays. Right, so what about now that uh, you finished your big test? Um, did your dad allow you uh, to play video games as much as you would like now? Um, yes, but mm -hmm. it has still a moment like I can't play until 10. ten mm -hmm. Until 10 and I can't. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so that's... Uh, the only rule. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, that should be it for tonight, uh, Will. And do you have questions before uh, before we go? Before we end? Um, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, well, yeah, right. Uh, once again, thank you and uh, congratulations. Uh, you should um, 
Yeah, give yourself a pat on the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very well. You did very well. <laughs> okay, uh, what is that sound? Um, it is uh, it is the garbage. Ah, the garbage collector, the garbage yeah. truck. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's so time to take out your trash. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so thanks a lot and have a good night. I will see you uh, later. Yeah. Okay. Saturday. Uh, right, on Saturday. Right, so this class uh, should have yeah. been your class uh, last Saturday. Right. <laughs> okay, I'll see you on Saturday, Will. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.